It's that time of year again. Today is the day we decorate for Halloween. Welcome back to our super secret second channel, not to be confused with my main channel, Hope Scope. Last year, we turned this entryway into the ultimate haunted toxic swamp, and it turned out pretty cool if I do say so myself. This year, it's going to be all of that times a couple more new things. <laughs> we have some fun Halloween crafts that we're gonna test out, including possibly the biggest craft I have ever attempted to make. I really hope it turns out. But first, I have a confession. I have this problem where I think I black out on the clock app and I just, I have been getting so many trinkets, so many things that I don't need because it's late at night. Okay, except this phone case. This is actually really cute. That was a justifiable purchase. Why did I order this? <laughs> It's thing from Wednesday. Okay, I think my thought process was this would be cute. Put on a desk and either put like pencils in or pens or paint brushes. I don't know. It actually does. Oh my gosh. How do I get tricked into these things? Okay, he's kind of cute though. It's a skeleton in a bathtub. And then when the candle heats up, it looks like he's in a bathtub. I, I'm, I don't know. Does anybody else have this problem? Especially around Halloween time. Okay, now that I've gotten that out in the open, first craft. Okay, here's our first craft. As I'm sure you're aware, spackle art has been super popular the last several years, but this one, this is the one that's gonna finally get me to try it. Okay, so you take your spackle and you just put little globs. Easy enough, right? I feel like this doesn't take a whole lot of talent. <laughs> and then once the entire canvas is full of these blobs, you you add eyes, cause they're little ghosts. <laughs> I think this is so cute and so easy. And then I had the idea, also some other people did, to do pink ghosts. Because I feel like in a lot of stores, pink Halloween is kind of the trend anyway, so it's too perfect. Here is our vinyl spackling. We just added like the tiniest drop of pink paint and I like it, it's, it's really light. It is pink though, I promise. I hope I can do this. They made it look so easy. Like that. Kind of, you know, I'm just getting a head start on the one beneath it. Great. <laughs> okay, here's our first row of ghosts. I'm gonna keep going. Okay, are you ready for the reveal? Ta-da! I think they're cute. I feel like they're littler and skinnier and longer than the ghosts in the example video, but that's okay, it's art. So the thing is, you can't really do the eyes and stuff until they dry. So we're gonna let this dry for a couple days. But if you wanna see a finished one, we actually did this one earlier this week. That one turned out cute with like the different colored ghosts. This is a fun project. And I would say it's pretty beginner friendly actually. So if you're looking for Halloween craft, if you make it, post it on like your Instagram story and tag me or something. Okay, next craft. So you go to the dollar store and get this hand and lights and a board, everything supposedly at the dollar store paint this whole wooden piece black. You take your creepy hand, glue it to the center of the wooden plaque, and then you put the little lamp in the hand and it's the cutest little Halloween lamp decoration. Although I went to my dollar store and they didn't have any of this stuff. So we had to do some searching. I had the idea of taking some of my creepy mannequin hands from my custom fingernails video and just painting one of those and using it, but that seemed like a lot of work. So we just found what we needed to find on Amazon. Still a pretty affordable craft though. Okay, step one, we're gonna have to paint this. This. I have my supplies <laughs> in my hand. He was like so specific measuring out the middle. I'm probably just gonna eyeball it to be honest. <laughs> Okay, painted, I'm gonna set this down to dry. And then our last couple steps is just to take some of this uh, creepy gauze, is what this is called, and kind of drape it around the hand. And then do you wanna see our lights? I think they're gonna be cute. LED lanterns. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be adorable. Okay, so I have three lanterns and three little hands. These are gonna make a great addition to our little swamp. So I'll show you the final result once it's dry. Okay, I'm really excited about our next craft, but I'm a little bit nervous that this is the type of thing that the person in the video makes look really easy, and then it's gonna be complicated. <laughs> so Home Goods is selling these cute candles, but they're $80, so home decor DIY. Figure out a way to make it ourselves. So you take literal pool noodles, glue them to cardboard, and then use a hot glue gun to create the drips, spray paint the whole thing black so it looks like a black melting candle, and then you add little tea lights to the top. You could even do some other spooky hands and stuff if you want to, cobwebs. Looks easy enough, right? We'll see. But to make this craft even a little bit simpler, look what we found. 
black pool noodles. I didn't even know that these came in black. So that eliminates one step, kind, kind of. Anyway, black pool noodles, we've got our black tea lights and let's see if we can pull this off. Okay, step one is to cut these to the lengths that I want. Oh, wait, that was kind of easy. The part that kind of looks the trickiest is the tea light's not gonna fit in this tiny hole. So we need to make the hole bigger. And I think it's okay to be kind of messy with it because honestly, the messier the top of the pool noodle is, the more it's gonna look like a melting candle. What do we think? Does that look like the top of a melting candle? I think so. Candles are cut and now the fun part. We're gonna stick them to the base. Okay, now for the fun part, we're gonna add the drips. Okay, first little candle's done. This part's gonna take a minute, so I'll see you when I have all the glue on. <laughs> it's glued. It looks so good. My hand is cramping, and I may have used $80 worth of hot glue, but we're not gonna talk about that. It's gonna be cute though. One more step though, we need to spray paint all of it black. So that the drips are the same color as the candle. And then after that, we're gonna add all the little tea lights in and maybe some like spider webs or something and add it to our decorations. After all that hard work, I think it's time for a Halloween snack. You might remember last year I made this hot chocolate and put the little marshmallow ghosts on it. Well, supposedly it works even better with soda. So we're gonna make ghost soda. Step one, cut. Step two, marshmallow fluff. And then you just smear it. <gasps> that was good. Wait, that was better than the one I did last year. <laughs> we're gonna do four ghosts. Cute. Okay, now we draw their little eyes on. That's so cute. And secret ingredient because I'm from Utah. <laughs> last ingredient our soda. Cute. Oh my gosh, I love this. 10 out of 10 recommend for your Halloween party. That's so fun. Are you kidding me? And to go with our soda, we're making pizza. Not just any pizza though, skull pizza. Okay, look how cool these are. So you can buy like a special molds that you put the pizza dough in, put whatever fillings in you want, and they come out looking really creepy, but like they taste good. <laughs> so we're gonna try it. Okay, the most important thing for this one is the skull pizza pan and look how cute this one is. It's like iridescent. I'm obsessed with it. Okay, skull pan. And then we're gonna take our pizza dough. Maybe we're gonna need six pieces of this on the bottoms of the skulls. We've seen some videos where they take cheese and put it in the face and then it kind of makes the face look burnt and more creepy. Now, so you put the dough in, scoop some sauce in. Leo loves this project. <laughs> Pepperoni cheese. And we just close it up. Beautiful. <laughs> one of these things is not like the other. <laughs> I ran out of dough on one of them, okay? He's gonna be extra scary. Okay, we're gonna put these in the oven for 20 minutes and then hopefully we have cute pizza skulls. Ta-da! They're really hot though, so we're gonna wait for them to cool and then see how they look. Oh, here we go. Oh, it's cute! I mean, the cheese does kind of look zombie. These are so fun! Taste test. Yeah, these were a good idea. The treats went way better than they did last year. All right, we've got one more very special craft. This is the one that I was telling you about that's the biggest craft I have ever attempted. I saw this video and I knew I needed to make this. So you know those 12 foot tall skeletons that they sell at like Home Depot and Lowe's and stuff? Well, this person took one of those skeletons and covered it in tiny mirrors and basically made a giant disco skeleton. So I want to do that, but I wanted to go with my like toxic waste theme. So we're gonna make him a giant green disco skeleton. Giant skeleton. I decided instead of committing to a 12 foot skeleton like in the TikTok, I'm doing an eight foot one, which is still huge. Honestly, I was expecting the box to be bigger. Also, this says $500. We definitely didn't pay $500 for it. It was like 250. The 12 foot ones though, those are like 500. But honestly, if this goes well, I'm not opposed to getting the 12 foot one in the future. We could have a whole family of disco skeletons. <laughs> okay. Let's put this thing together.
skeleton is spray painted. He actually looks so cool already. Now that he's painted, it's time to disco him. It's gonna look so cool. Welcome to day two. Today's the day that we get to do the fun stuff. We get to actually set up all of the decorations that we made. But first of all, I need a more Halloween-y outfit. So here are our options. <laughs> Comment below if you remember last year's video that I got these in. So option one, ghouls just wanna have fun. Option two, cow ghouls. I actually wear this one all the time. <laughs> or squad goals. I think I'm gonna wear this one because I don't think I've worn it yet. Yep, this is the one, be right back. Okay, ready. <laughs> okay, so last year this little like entryway table was was very cute and I liked it. But this year I want it to be spookier. So I think with our crafts that we just made, we can definitely accomplish that. Are you ready to see the final candles? Ta-da! <laughs> they turned out so good. I think these are gonna look so cool on this table. Then I have our finished hand lamps too. Look how good this looks. I made three of them and they all have their own little lantern and those are gonna go on the wall behind the table. So we're gonna add this new stuff and then obviously some stuff from last year that we made as well to get our spooky little entryway table set up. Okay, here's our final table. I think it turned out really cute, but I can't wait for you to see it when it's dark and everything's lit up. We're finishing off the rest of the entryway with some of our stuff from last year's decorations, like these blow up thingies that are gonna help us make it look like it's a toxic swamp. We have our cute glowing ghost that has a new face from last year. And with that, I think we're ready for the reveal. But first, my biggest craft yet. Here's the disco skeleton. This is just the head. Wait till you see the entire thing. This is cool though. Like if you wanted to do this craft, but you wanted a less time consuming, smaller version, just the skull is pretty cool. All right, are you ready to see the whole thing? Here it comes, really big and really heavy. It's beautiful. This might be my greatest creation. My team also helped me. There was no way I was sticking on these discos all by myself, but it was so worth it, I think. Okay, here we go. Let's see if it works after all this spray paint. Oh my gosh, he's glorious. Ah, this is so cool. Okay, I'm not really sure where I want him to live for like all of fall, but I think he's gonna go in this corner for now. He's so creepy, but so wonderful. Now that we have our final piece, I think it's time to turn the lights off and do the final reveal of this room. <laughs> the laser effect that we did last year is just as cool as I remember it. I'm so glad that it worked again. <laughs> this thing is called a fobble machine. They're literally bubbles that are filled with fog and it's quite possibly the best invention I've ever seen. I can never get over how cool this is and we don't even have everything on yet. Fog, fog, fog. Woo <laughs> oh my gosh, here come the fobbles. Yes. Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Oh, I love it. <laughs> okay, how long before the smoke alarms go off this year though? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so good. Look at our little table set up. I think it turned out great this year. I like the spooky vibes we went with. And look at my cute little skeleton candle. <laughs> also, look at what we found at Walmart. Like of all the combinations, what are the chances they had a disco green ghost? Thanks so much for decorating for Halloween with me. I hope you had fun. I had fun. And I can't wait for this to just get more and more elaborate every single year. Make sure to check out last year's Halloween videos if you haven't seen those yet. And we will see you guys in the next video. Say bye, YouTube.